good to us. He's given us another opportunity to celebrate. Not just any old week, but a week that's full of love. A week that's full of uh, sacrifice. And a week that is full of opportunities for us to share who Jesus is to us. I've been given the task today from uh, this great organization that is lifting up the name of Jesus through music. And I want to talk with you just a few moments from John chapter number 19. And there is a few passages of scripture that are listed there. And John 19 verse number 26 and verse number 27. It says to us there, uh, when Jesus then saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. For this hour, the disciple took his mother into his own household. Here he is love in action. We have a family reunion with Jesus' mother and Jesus' auntie who was there. And we have a prostitute who shows up, but there was 9,000 people that he fed were absent. There was individuals who were healed when he spit on the ground and wiped the mud on their eyes. They were absent. Uh, there were people who, who had leprosy, who had been diagnosed, found themselves not at this family reunion. But Mary and uh, his auntie Mary and his uh, prostitute friend and John the Baptist found themselves there with him. They found themselves there at the cross and Jesus, even in the middle of pain, found himself even uh, doing some work. It is uh, sad to say that when we find ourselves suffering from something, we forget who God is. My God, my God, my God. When we find ourselves in the middle of chaos and confusion, we find ourselves on the list of scandal, and then we find ourselves in the hospital room. We, we forget who God is. But here, on the cross, we see Jesus still working. It reminds me of his word when he said that we must honor our fathers and our mothers. Wait a minute, now here is Jesus. Now he is the son of God. But now he even has the audacity to honor the word that was spoken in Exodus. Where it says, honor their father and their mother so yeah. their days yeah. may be long. Now he's on the cross. He's dying. He's suffering. He's in pain. But he still remembers his mama. Somebody who carried him for nine months. Somebody who rode on a donkey uh, to a geographical location to make sure prophecy was fulfilled. Yes. He right. honors yes. his mother. Yes. Not only does he honor his mother, he also takes time to look through time. Yes. And looks at the end of time and looks at John's life and said, this is the one that's going to last longer than any of them. So let me make sure that I hook my mama up with somebody that's going to take care of her. And I'm saying this is Jesus even on the cross in pain and anxiety, facing difficulty, suffering to breathe. 
He finds himself looking at his friend, John. That's good. While he's there, he says to him, Behold, your mother. Wait a minute now. Did not John, did not Jesus have some brothers and some sisters? You know, sometimes those that have the same blood running through oh my God, my God. their veins are the ones who will walk away from you when you find yourself in a difficult situation. I, I, I really don't understand why he did not empower one of the four brothers that he had. Why did he not empower one of the sisters? The Bible does say and they weren't Jewish and they understood what the word said that they must honor their father and their mother. But Jesus looks through time and says, John, it's going to be here longer than any of them. And I need to make sure the woman who carried me for nine months, the one who nursed me, the one who helped me when I slipped and fell, the one who wiped the tears from my eyes, the one who helped me when no one else would help me, the one who said you can do it when everyone else said that you could not. The one who came to visit you when you were in the most highest points and the one who visited with you when you was at your lowest point. Mama. Mama, mama. And his mother shows up while he was there on the cross. You know our aunties, there's some special aunties that you may have. They always are there for you. It remind, reminds me of an auntie that I had when I was in college and uh, she didn't have much but every time I came home she made sure that I went back with something. And here we have Jesus' auntie who was there at this family reunion seeing him demonstrate love to his mother, seeing him demonstrate kindness to his friend, right, seeing him demonstrating what it takes when you find yourself in pain, and just because you're in pain, just because cancer, diabetes, just because heart disease is shown up at your number, does not mean that you are relieved mm. from your duty. There's work to be done even when you find yourself in pain. And Jesus is demonstrating to us when we find ourselves in pain that we still have some work to do. We must understand that in order for us to be what we need to be when we find ourselves in pain, we must demonstrate to the world that God is still in charge. And even though we find ourselves hurting, even though we find ourselves in a situation where the odds are stacked against us and they lied on us and they talked about us and they put us on Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and they put us all out there talking about what we have done. Don't focus on what they say. Make sure they spell your name right. I'm here to say to you that they spell Jesus' name right. Jesus. 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 In the middle of the chaos and confusion. Jesus. 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 In the middle of the pain and the chaos. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, in the middle of trials and difficulties, Jesus, Jesus.